Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE, is continuing to enforce U.S. immigration laws with Alexandria being a part of that process, housing one of the largest processing facilities in the nation. Bennett Rowland Jr. has more. This early morning flight from Alexandria International Airport was our first look at a process officials say is happening much more frequently, moving non-citizens back to their home countries after entering the United States. Repatriation flights like the one Monday morning depart the processing center at AEX multiple times per week. Sometimes up to 100 migrants shackled at their wrists and ankles are escorted onto a chartered plane and flown back to their home country, also known as expedited removal. The use of expedited removal is a step towards our broader goal of safe, orderly, and humane processing on the United States border in accordance with our international obligations. The detainees came from U.S. Customs and Border Patrol custody, rounded up from all over the United States. The men are only held at the facility for 72 hours, undergoing things like medical assessments, background checks, and getting fresh clothes. Non-citizens who unlawfully cross the border are subject to criminal consequences, including possible deportation, prosecution, and a five-year bar on re-entry. Title 42, the Trump-era policy that made it easier to turn migrants away due to COVID precautions ended last week. But officials say their message remains clear. Anyone coming over that doesn't have a legal basis to stay will be removed. People that are thinking about coming here to the United States illegally should be very clear that they will be returned to their home countries in an expeditious manner. In Alexandria, Bennett Rowland Jr., News Channel 5, your local station.